Hi everyone. It's Project Pan update time with a uh, special guest Kathy Darla. Hello. Um, as soon as I ventured into my office, she's like, ooh, you're in the office. What are we doing? And I explained to her what we were doing and she was bored. But I'm doing these videos mainly to keep myself accountable. So you will have to suffer along with me and that's okay. Um, let's start with the product that I'm most excited about the progress that I'm making, which is the herbivore emerald oil. I am almost done. So we were at that purple line last time. Now we're down here. I've got maybe, maybe a week left, but probably not. Um, I do have to say, this is something that I, I've not really noticed before, but I'm very impressed with this bottle, which is, see how that dropper is like all the way down at the very bottom of the bottle? That really enables you to get a lot of product out of here. Um, I really feel like I'm not going to have to like tip it into my hand or anything to get the last couple drops out, and that's pretty impressive. So kudos to their packaging designer. I'm really um, impressed. Cat. Earthquake. Next we have the uh, Belief Aqua Bomb Mist. So we were at the purple line. We're now at the blue line. I can't tell if this got cloudy or if it's always been cloudy and I've just never noticed it. Um... But I haven't been reaching for this a ton, um, although it has been uh, quite warm out and humid. It's just not something that I've been gravitating towards. It's a good product. It's very hydrating. It is cooling. I just need to remember to use it. Um, but I think I will. Like, I'm, I, it's not going to go to waste. It's just uh, never where I need it to be. So right now I've been keeping it... Um, in the bathroom with my makeup, which is in the hall bath, not in our main bath. So it's very temperature controlled and I move it out if guests are going to use it. Um, so it's not sitting in humidity or anything like that. But then it's not where I am getting like ready for the morning or getting ready in the evenings. It's only in the room where I'm applying makeup, which isn't an everyday thing. Um... And I don't want to carry it around with me because, frankly, I'm kind of afraid that it's going to spill. And I just don't see myself, like, whipping it out of my bag at the middle of the day. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm sure that there's, um, what am I trying to say? A better way of using it or a more effective way of using it. Um, or a way of putting it so that it's more at the front of my mind. But I don't know what that is. Um, the next product is a Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. We were here. We're now down here. Um, I continue to consistently like this product. I don't think that it is delivering any visible results. Um, but it is, um, easy to use. It is comfortable to use. It does not irritate my skin at all. Um, I don't. I haven't, like, done a control line down the center of my face and used it on, like, half of my face, but not on the other half to do a proper comparison. Um, and I don't think that anyone uses products that way. So it is very difficult when you're testing things on yourself to have an unbiased opinion about whether you're seeing benefits or not. Um, but it's easy to use, so I will continue to use it. The... Next product is the um, Carity Hydra hair cream. We were at the purple mark again. Now we're at the blue mark. Um, we are at the the skinny part of the bottle. So um, we started this project out up here. Um, now it is down here. Um, so, you know, probably got another month or two left on that. Um, at nighttime, I've just been sort of like running it through my hair, braiding up my hair, sleeping on it. In the mornings, my hair is um, nice and soft. Uh, 
yeah, it's not, let's be honest, it smells nice, um, it is hydrating, it does leave my hair very soft, um, but it's not a project, product, I'm having problems with words today, it's not a product that, um, I see myself ever purchasing, um, I got this in my lucky bag, a, two, two years ago, maybe a year ago from Beautylish, um, and I don't know that my hair needs that kind of, like, treatment every day, it's, it's a little weighty, like, I feel like I kind of have to, like, scrub it a little bit to lighten it up um, afterwards, so it's not, it's not something I purchase. I do have another product in line to replace this, and that's kind of the fun thing that I've realized is um, planning ahead for, like, what's next. Uh, so a little bit of backstory, if you will indulge me. Um, the products that I'm using now while some of them are kind of old, have been around for a while. I started trying to be more mindful of the products that I'm using and how I'm using them in 2017. Um, so I don't have a lot of like partially used products or trial sizes or even sample sizes, unless I've gotten them in some sort of gift bag or something, um, to use up. So a lot of the products that I'm working for, working through, that's the word I was looking for, um, are actually full-size products that I'm starting from scratch. And it has definitely made me more mindful of how uh, long it really takes to work through some of this stuff um, and to then have ample time to look around for what's new, what haven't I tried, what do I love again and again that I'm always going to repurchase and it makes me more mindful of of really what I'm buying and how I'm using it. I've doddered off. Let's continue with the products. Um, so the next product is the ambient lighting powder in diffuse light. Uh, no visible progress. I'm not expecting any for many months. Um, I did weigh this with my kitchen scale two weeks ago and it was 70 grams. Now my kitchen scale says uh, 69 grams. I did weigh this at work um, with our analytical balance and it said 69.95 grams, but I forgot to weigh it again, so I don't know where we're at. But I suspect that with my kitchen scale, we've made enough progress that we're now rounding down as opposed to rounding up. Um, and that's made me kind of happy. Um, the last product is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm. Um, I do like this. I've been making good progress on it. I think as it's um, warming up around here, it is a little bit easier to use because um, it's pretty rich in oils that get really soft. So I, I feel like more is applying if it's been sitting in my pocket or if it's been outside in the sun with me. So we were here. Now we're down here. So I've maybe used, I don't know, maybe like a third. Yeah. Um, but very exciting. Part of the reason that I want to get rid, or not get rid, use up this Bird's Bees uh, lip balm is not only to feel the sense of accomplishment that I've actually used a lip balm all the way through, because I have plenty left, um, but it is because when I moved my ottoman, um, and I think you guys know where this is going. When I moved my ottoman this weekend, or last weekend, I found my Dr. Pepper lip balm that originally started this project. Um, so this is going to come back. When Bert is done, the doctor returns. Um, I've, you know, I've committed to it. I can't not go back to it. Um, I know after comparing these two for um, like a couple weeks that the Burt's Bees is much easier to go through. Um, it's a softer formula. It isn't pigmented, so it's clear as opposed to the Doctor, which is pink. Um, and you wouldn't think that that makes a difference, but I, I have noticed that 
um, I do see that slight um, color and that's not a bad thing because uh, as I'm on Zoom meetings or doing YouTube, um, I do notice that like my lips look a little pale sometimes and it's nice to have like a little bit of color. So uh, that's the plan. Well, as we finish things, we're going to open up new things or if we do have an opportunity to revisit old things or started things, that's, that's what we're going to do. I hope everyone's having a great time and I'll talk to you later. Bye.